What's going on everybody? My name is CD. Today we're going to be talking about the new content that they're calling Season 1 Reloaded for Black Ops Cold War and Warzone. So this right here is an article that I'm going to go through off of Charlie Intel. They cover all Black Ops, all Call of Duty stuff. Anything new, anything breaking, they will always have some information on it, so check them out. But as you can see here in the title, Season 1 Reloaded was announced today with some items actually being live today some items being live in a few weeks, and then some other items, some bigger items, being live later in the season, which we can probably expect within the next month. And so to take a look at everything involved in Season 1 Reloaded, here's a graphic that covers everything. Now, obviously, we'll go through all these things as we go through this article, but some of the biggest things to me are first, Firebase Z, a new zombies map dropping February 4th. Express, the Black Ops 2 competitive map, it's a great map, also dropping February 4th. And the biggest thing, I think for me at least, that'll keep me playing Black Ops Cold War League play coming sometime in this season. Now there is a lot more stuff, so let's go through it. Let's try to cover it all here. So new weapon, we already knew about this samurai sword, the, the Wakanashi or whatever you want to call it, as it was one of those weapons that was kind of leaked with those Warzone challenges and then immediately taken out of the game. So that goes hand in hand with the sledgehammer, the street sweeper, and now this sword. So it's another melee weapon that you actually have to use the combat knife in Black Ops Cold War to unlock. And I believe I already looked at the challenge and it's something like you have to get two finishing moves or finishing execution moves in 10 different games with the combat knife. And as it notes here, there is also a blueprint. So if you'd like to purchase the weapon instead of working for it, you can do that as well. There's a new operator, Zayna, something like that, as you can see right here. So I'm sure she'll have some new skins in the store. Two new multiplayer maps. The first one is Sanatorium. It's definitely one of the bigger maps here for like the 10v10 and stuff like that. And then also, as we mentioned, Express. So I'm really looking forward to playing Express in Cold War. They also talk about some new modes coming for multiplayer. So they say that Face Off, the 3v3 mode, will stay. And then they're adding Dropkick, which is live now. They're also adding a Snipers Only Mosh Pit, where, as the title kind of says, you can only use a sniper. That's coming later in the season. And then they're also adding a Fire Team Endurance Mode. Some Zombies updates here. So they do have a new mode, Cranked, that is live right now in Zombies. And then they do also talk about PlayStation exclusive Onslaught maps. So they're going to be adding Raid right now, as well as Express on February 4th to the Onslaught playlist. Also, if you don't currently have Black Ops Cold War, there will be free access from today, January 14th through January 21st. I believe this is just zombies. This is not multiplayer. The new zombies map, Firebase Z. So we all thought this was coming out in season two, but it seems that they're releasing it early February 4th. And it'll be interesting to see the Easter egg on the new map, as well as something else to play in zombies. If you guys need to level up your weapons, zombies is a great spot for that. But other than that, they don't mention, they don't specifically mention league play here in this article i don't know if they're waiting on more information about that to come later in the season but they don't specifically talk about here i think we know what league play will be and hopefully it'll live up to the black ops 2 league play standards as we pretty much are already playing ranked play or league play in normal pubs except we don't actually see our rank it'll be nice to actually play some sort of competitive game mode and actually get a rank for playing well and winning games but that's all we have right now on the information for season one reloaded if you guys have any questions put them in the comments down below Click the like button if you did enjoy it. Sub if you have not already. We'll see you guys. Ooh.